Namaste everyone and welcome to Yoga and Me. Today we're going to do a special video over our secondary heart. Yes, you heard it right, secondary heart. Our calf muscles are considered as our second heart because they work really hard to press the deoxygenated blood back to our heart because they work against the gravity. If we stop walking for some time or if there's lack of movement in our body or if we keep on sitting for long hours, then these muscles, they really need to work hard to pump this blood back to our heart. The circulation gets affected and the venous blood, it gets stagnated here, which may result in loss of circulation, maybe swollen ankles, sometimes varicose veins, ulcers and whatnot. So let's work over our calf muscles today and in order to do this practice we need a pair of block you may or may not need it but just keep them next to your mat so that you don't need to rush while you are practicing and for today's class we're gonna start in child's posture balasana so bring your big toes to touch and then widen your knees towards the edges of your mat but make sure your hips are resting in between your heels you may be here maybe here maybe here that's fine just walk your hands forward and release your head down take few breaths here just to arrive on your mats two more breaths start to surrender your body to your mat relax your jaw and just observe your breath one more breath here. Slowly start to lift up and come into your toe squat. Just tuck your toes under and rest your hips on your ankles. If you find this is too hard for you, you can simply point your toes back. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, release down. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Slowly release and make your way for your tabletop, hands and knees. Cat and cow, just to warm up your spine. Breathe in, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Breathe out, round and contract. Inhale and exhale. One more, breathe in. Breathe out. Find your neutral spine. Tuck your right toes under and stretch your right leg back. Maybe lift your right leg up. Simply just flex and point your toes. Release the right foot down and cross it over to your left side and maybe look at your left foot. Stretching right side of your body here. Slowly bring it back and straight away in between your hands. Low lunge, Anjaneyasana. And from here, grab hold of your blocks. We will take a transition from low lunge to half split here. You can either keep your back toes pointed or curl them, whatever easy for you. And if you have soft knee or maybe you had any recent knee injury, then either consult your doctor before you do it or if you feel you are okay to do it, place some kind of padding underneath your knee. Breathe in here as you press your hips down and forward. Make sure your knee is not overshooting your foot, knee and ankle in one line. Exhale, shift your weight back, straighten this leg and when you straighten, important thing here is that you flex your toes. Don't worry about having this knee perfectly straight. You can absolutely bend it. Flex your toes and you should feel the stretch in your calf muscles. Inhale, go forward again. Pull your heart forward. Exhale, go back. Use your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. This time we're going to hold it there. So keep breathing. Keep your toes flexed. Maybe fold over your front leg. If not, then stay high. Two more breaths. And slowly lift back up. Remove the blocks to the side. Keep your left hand down and your right hand reaches up. 
We are coming into modified side plank, Vashishthasana. So from here, just step your right foot back, aligning with your left hand and your left knee. Either keep this foot down or if you can lift it up, try to maintain this one straight line, both the shoulders and arms. Another option, take a bind. Keep breathing. One more breath. Slowly release the bind. Right foot down, right hand down. Find your push up or high plank position. If not, simply drop the knees down and then slowly come onto your belly. From here, make your left forearm parallel to the top of your mat elbow underneath the shoulder and from here your right hand searches for your right foot try to bring this foot close to your right hip if you find the foot is too far for you then maybe use a belt here and keep looking forward lifting your chest up breathing in breathing out one more breath Slowly release, hands underneath your shoulders, lift back up, tabletop, hands and knees, so adjust your hands and feet if you need to. This time tuck your left toes back and stretch. Cross your left foot over to your right and look at your right, left foot this time. Stretching left side of the body, try not to bend your elbows. Bring it back to center and then step it forward in between your hands. Low lunge on your left side. Grab hold of your blocks. The same transition, low lunge to half split or Ardha Hanuman Asana. Inhale, melting the hips down and forward. Exhale, shift the weight back and flexing through the left toes. Breathe in, go forward. Breathe out. Inhale, exhale, hold it there this time, maybe fold over your front leg, keep your toes tightly flexed, feel the stretch here, breathe in, breathe out. Slowly lift back up, remove the blocks, right hand down and coming into Modified side plank, Vashishthasana. Choose the options one, two, and three. Breathing in, breathing out. Slow down the breath, relax. Slowly release the bind. Left foot down, left hand down. Plank or slowly come to your belly, whichever way easy for you. Right forearm parallel to the top of your mat, elbow and knee, shoulder in one line. Left hand searches for your left foot. Breathing in, breathing out. Shoulders down and away from your ears. Slowly release and this time tuck your toes, lift up and back for your first downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inverted V position, equal weight distribution into hands and feet and there should be more weight into your fingers than to your wrist. Lifting the hips and your tailbone as high as possible, head relaxed. Inhale, lift up higher onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees and press your chest back. Inhale to hold. Exhale to release. Two more like this. Breathe in onto your toes. Breathe out, bend your knees, press your chest towards your thighs. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale. 
exhale breathe in here breathe out to release inhale reach your right leg up towards the ceiling bend your right knee open your hip think of reaching your right knee up towards the ceiling and right foot towards your hips maybe look underneath your right armpit straighten and square your right leg exhale step the right foot forward in between your hands and keep your blocks handy we may need them in this flow runners lunge hands on either side when you are ready keep your blocks towards the front of your mat and from here breathe in here once again melt your hips down and forward breathe out straighten the front knee and work on bringing your back heel down to the mat it may be hard in the beginning if you have really tight calf muscles your heel might not touch the mat and that's fine it will come down eventually inhale to runners lunge exhale straighten the front knee back heel down wide pyramid posture parsvottanasana breathe in breathe out hold it there fold over your front leg if you can otherwise maybe lift up your blocks high and stay here choose the options three deep breaths one more breath slowly release bend your front knee narrow the back foot in now for this one we need both the legs straight first straighten the front leg and now what i'm going to do i'm going to breathe in here breathe out i'm going to bend my back knee and lifting my front toes off the mat i will do it without the block so that you can see better breathe in here breathe out bend your back knee and toes off the mat feel the stretch here inhale straighten both the legs exhale bend your back knee front toes flexed breathe in breathe out hold it here keep breathing don't hold your breath now one more breath slowly release lift up and bring your left foot forward big toes together heels slightly apart deeply bend the knee seat is low utkatasana sitting on an imaginary chair chest facing forward and not down shoulders relaxed one more breath and slowly release lift up widen your feet slightly wider than your hips bend your knees and squat down yogic squat malasana elbows to the inside of your knees to help it open even wider one more breath and now from here just release your prayer and place your hands to the inside of your feet fingertips inside breathe in here shift your gaze up arm still inside of your legs exhale i'm going to lift my hips up and straighten the legs folding over vayu nishkasana nishkasanasana inhale squat down lift up exhale a wind releasing posture but anyways a beautiful stretch for your calf muscles as well breathe in breathe out hold it there slowly release the hands on either side of your feet make your feet parallel breathe in lift half way breathe out step back downward facing dog same sequence on the left side when you are ready inhale reach your left leg up bend your knee open your hip inhale and exhale straighten and square step the left foot forward in between your hands runners lunge grab hold of your blocks breathe in breathe out 
inhale exhale always remember we need our feet hip width apart for any kind of lunge hold it here wide pyramid posture breathing in breathing out one more breath slowly remove the blocks narrow the back foot in inhale here exhale bend your back knee front toes off the mat breathe in breathe out inhale exhale hold it here keep the toes flexed breathing in and out one more breath and release lift up with strong legs come forward utkatasana the chair pose breathing in make sure your knees are touching big toes together sink low shoulders down and away from your ears one more breath and slowly lift up widen your feet towards the edges turn the toes out and lower down yogi squat malasana any kind of squat helps in increasing blood circulation in your feet ankles calf muscles it's an age old practice which is often ignored these days because this is so far generation we hardly sit on floors now release the hands down and now once again insert your hands underneath your feet breathe in lift your gaze up breathe out lifting the hips up straightening the legs fold over by unishkasana inhale and exhale breathe in breathe out slowly release the hands out make your feet parallel inhale half way lift exhale downward facing dog take one little flow here inhale shift your weight forward into high plank and straight away drop your hips down but not touching the mat keep your toes curled under modified up dog exhale bend your knees lift your hips up and back one more like this inhale open your chest forward exhale and then set your knees down sit back and for the next posture we are moving into virasana if you had any recent knee injury or you have arthritis of knee joint then you shouldn't do it this is not safe for you otherwise everybody else can practice it so how to do it <coughs> extend your leg forward first and from here you need to bend one leg first <coughs> start with one leg, uh, leg at a time and then you can do both of them if you feel comfortable there i'm demonstrating my left side first because that is facing towards you so bend this knee and now you need to take this foot outside of your hip joint make sure you're not sitting on your foot because that is vajrasana and we are doing something different which is virasana bend this knee and take this foot to the outside of your left hip if you feel you are rolling on to one side and your left hip has started to lift off the mat in that case use a block and place it under your right hip keep sitting on the block feel the stretch into your left calf muscles and keep your right toes flexed but if you can sit without a block then sit like this sit straight hands on your thighs and just breathe
stretching the tops of your feet stretching the calf muscles your ankles and slowly take it out switching sides again if you want use a block here keep your left toes flexed and if you want you can do both of them together again in this one also you can use a block always use it and sit on the block if not remove the block and sit you can always lower yourself down or find your supta virasana but that way too advanced and shouldn't be practiced in the beginning if you have been doing virasana for a long time then probably you can release your hands back and simply lower down either to your forearms or all the way down if not stay up high first when once you are done slowly release one leg then the other and just shake out your knees any little adjustments you need to do moving into paschimottanasana seated forward fold keep your toes flexed at all times a beautiful way to stretch your calf muscles slowly start to slide your legs forward keeping your belly and thigh as close as possible if you feel you have started to lose the contact then stay here maybe stay on to your forearm or use a belt around your feet maybe a block and stay here if not slowly keep straightening your legs absolutely have a tiny bit bend here if you want to and fold remember we always go down on the exhale and then we inhale and exhale normally looking at the toes one more breath slowly start to walk your hands moving towards the last stretch which is butterfly fold padha konasana so bend your knees bring the soles of the feet together feeling the soles up towards the ceiling if you are a beginner or you have tight muscles maybe keep your feet here and gradually start to bring them close to your pelvis it's okay if your knees are pretty high that's fine hold the big toes or maybe the feet breathe in breathe out start to fold if you want to otherwise skip this one maybe come to your forearms maybe use a block or come all the way down start to slow down your breath and relax slowly lift back up use your hands to bring the knees together hands behind you and just drop the knees from side to side sit cross legs or any comfortable seated position find your sukhasana we finish this video here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video give it a try and share your feedback and suggestions down in the comment section i will wait for your suggestions and your comments there i upload new video every thursday and friday please stick to the channel subscribe and press the bell icon i will see you in my next video very very soon till then bye bye and take care namaste